I say I don't know what it is, and I know exactly what it is. I stay up late every single night, and my child... He fell backwards. He fell backwards. But welcome to the vlog. Um, we are just having like a very normal day at home today. I wish I had something exciting to like contribute to the video this week, but I just don't. I didn't really have any ideas either for content. I'm feeling really uninspired this week. I wanna take a quick break from the video to talk about today's video sponsor, which is Dreamland Baby. And I'm actually so excited, you guys, because we have used Dreamland Baby for literally three years now. When I had Bellamy, they were like all the rage. It was all everybody was talking about. And I'm sure some of you remember he was not a great sleeper and Dreamland Baby was something that really helped in those beginning stages. Theo sleeps in his weighted sleep sleep sack every night and he, for all of his naps he has since he was about like five months old. If you guys use the code on the screen right now, you can get 20% off site wide with Dreamland Baby as well as free shipping. And the great news is that this offer is for new customers and existing customers. So if you've already loved Dreamland Baby, you can still score with a discount. Dreamland Baby offers gently weighted baby sleep sacks and swaddles to help your little one have a deeper and restful night of sleep as well as obviously you getting better sleep. I specifically started using Dreamland Baby right around that age where baby starts waking up a little bit more easily. They start noticing more more noises. They're just more sensitive of a sleeper. Every baby I feel like reaches that phase where it's harder to set them down and keep them asleep. Dreamland Baby sleep sacks kind of help them feel like they're being hugged and they're still a little bit held while also still being extremely safe because your baby can still roll, move, stand up. I actually have a weighted blanket, not from Dreamland Baby, but this is like essentially the exact same thing but for a baby. It's just like that calming and pleasing to your sensory needs to just have something weighted on you. It's also very comfortable and another feature that I really appreciate is the two-way zipper. That way if you need to change your little one in the middle of the night, you don't have to take the whole swaddle off and just zip up the bottom, change the diaper, zip it back. The two-way zipper, there's no tag, so it's extra comfortable for baby. They also make this out of 100% soft cotton and there is no flame retardant sprayed on it, which I really appreciate if my baby is going to be sleeping in something every single night for it to be made out of high quality material. The best news for you guys is that Dreamland Baby has swaddles and sleep sacks from infancy all the way to toddlerhood. I'm all about trying to find baby products that I will be able to use with my future kids and we've used this same sleep sack with Bellamy and now with my second son. They also are now available in the Lux Weave Bamboo. So if you are a bamboo mama and you love bamboo material pajamas or products for your baby, they now offer their famous sleep sack in bamboo as well. Thank you to Dreamland Baby for sponsoring today's video and for helping my babies sleep so much better. Again, you guys can use my code CELESTE20 for 20% off site-wide as well as free shipping. And let's get back to the video. I not even believe that it is already April. Like this year is flying by. I know that it's gonna be May before we know it. And in May, I will have a one-year-old. I will have a birthday with Mother's Day, which it'll be my, gosh, what will it be? My third? I think it'll be my fourth Mother's Day. My son's only three, but he was born two months before Mother's Day, so yeah, it should be my fourth 
Mother's Day? Like, how's that even possible? I know that the summer is gonna just fly by, so I'm trying to really, like, be where my feet are and soak it up because you guys know, or maybe you don't, but I am a summer girl. All my hobbies are summer hobbies. I love being outside. I love gardening. I love sunshine. I love swimming. I love hiking, camping, all those things. So, I think this summer is going to probably be one of our best yet because the boys are at such a fun age. Last summer was great too um, with the boys because it was Theo's first summer, but he was just so little and we were also going through so much last summer that I'm like extra hopeful for this year because we're in a different place and it'll just be so much better. I'm hoping in different ways. Obviously last summer was still great. Um, but Theo's also a lot older, so I think we'll be able to do a little bit more and they'll be able to do more together. make your bed too that way your room is clean mm -hmm. Well, my camera died while I was putting on my makeup, but basically what I was saying I think this is what I was saying. I don't honestly even remember is I don't really have I don't really have a plan for today's video I'm just gonna wing it. I know that my videos are getting really redundant, but honestly, like, when I start to think that way about my videos, I'll just, like, stop posting altogether because I'm like, nobody wants to see this. And I feel like every time I post, at least one person is like, I liked it. Um, even though it was mundane and redundant, this was helpful to me. So, like, I'm doing it for that one person. <laughs> like, I am sorry, guys, but, like, my life just is really um a lot of the same thing right now every day day in and day out it's kind of the same thing so i'll take you guys along with me today um i might get time to start my garden like so start some more seeds we did that yesterday i got a little clip of it we've been having such nice weather finally and it's so exciting um but yeah, basically just gonna carry you guys around today while I do my stay-at-home mom tasks and try to enjoy the day. And I have a cute little chunky baby over there. He took a really good morning nap this morning. And we'll see how he does with his afternoon nap. We're finally getting through like a sleep regression. Also, I think week three of being on my cleaning schedule. So maybe I'll share more details about that and yeah, but for now, these boys are antsy to go on a walk. Always, always prepping as many snacks as possible to bring on our walks because I find we're always gone for longer than I expected. And the walks always go better if I have snacks and drinks. Um, I like to have them outside as much as possible. Our backyard is still kind of a mud pit. Um, we didn't get a chance to do anything to this yard when we moved. So last, this last summer was our first spring and summer here, and that's really when we should have done like things like planting grass and really working on the yard, because when we got this house, the yard was just a giant project. So it still kind of is, because last season, I was freshly postpartum, and we had a lot going on, so we didn't touch it. So we're hoping to do that this year, but it's just now warm enough to where we can actually even think about stuff like that. So it's still a bit of a mess, so we've just been enjoying going on lots of walks for the time being. I just chopped up a bunch of grapes. I'm gonna bring grapes, maybe an apple, some drinks for them, and some cheddar crackers. And then we will probably come back just in time for a little man to take his second nap, start making lunch, and um, I have quite a bit of cleaning. You know, I like to do dinner prep during that time too. These little snack packs from Aldi are the best for toddlers. This one has 
sharp white cheddar, milk chocolate chunks, raspberry dried cranberries, and graham cracker bites. Not like, I'm sure not the best, but he loves them and it's like a sweet treat but also still has a decent amount of protein in it with the cheese and stuff. So we're gonna bring this too. Got our snacks. I'm gonna bring some water for myself. I usually bring my AirPods and like to listen to a podcast or worship music, but I think today I'm just gonna check out because I am just not, I cannot get myself motivated today. I feel like distracted and just bleh today. So I'm trying to figure out what that is. And usually praying helps, so we'll, we'll do that. All right, are you guys ready? Okay, so I think this is totally cool. We went to the park a couple days before this and I wrote Jesus loves you with chalk. And when I came back, a little kid wrote Jesus died on the cross to wipe away your sins. Oh. Where's that bubba going? We had a lot of fun at the park. Um, it's like, it's not the warmest outside, but it's warm for us. I'm having one of these like veggie, I'm still very skeptical that there's any vegetables in it, chocolate muffin from Costco. Well, the boys' lunch heats up in the oven. Lately, I have been slacking on my meal planning game. I just like, the weeks are going by faster and faster. And by the time that it's like Saturday and time for me to grocery shop again, I'm like, how am I already having to think about meals? Like, how is this already happening? And we do repeat some meals and stuff, but I feel like when I don't write down actual recipes to make or meals to make, I just like feel like a chicken with my head cut off throughout the week. So this week, um, I was like, I was like, I'm not gonna spend money on groceries and then not actually make meals with it. So I've been coming up with stuff on the spot, but then I also, this is probably silly, came up with like, a few recipes just by typing in like I'll look in my freezer and see what meat I have and I'll say easy dinner recipes with Italian sausage and it comes up with a bunch of different recipes and I just kind of look based off of what I have in my fridge and I make a recipe and it kind of also makes it easier because I'm narrowed down to what I already have instead of like when I go grocery shopping being like what should I buy to make instead just going to the store buying some basics and then coming home and trying to come up with recipes like that I don't know if that makes any sense, but we'll probably turn on a show for him when I'll probably have to turn on a show for him while I go up to put this guy to bed. jar is compared to like how much coffee it actually made but Theo's down for his second nap he's been napping pretty good today but I shouldn't even say that because I'm gonna jinx myself I just cleaned up the kitchen I'm gonna try to do a couple more house chores really quick Belle's enjoying a movie for a bit so that I can get things done because I'm hoping that when Theo wakes up I can just uh, ha only have to worry about like dinner prep and being outside with them so if the house is tidy then I can get more time with them in the evening but I also didn't really get time in my bible this morning and I think that that's part of why I'm feeling like so just like off I don't know I just feel like I can't get myself going like my brain fog is crazy which actually that reminds me I need to take my vitamins and that's probably part of why I've been on my supplement grind the part that his movie is at is really sad I've been crying at everything lately no, I'm not pregnant, I'm just hormonal. 
Um, but I will cry at any TikTok that I watch, any YouTube video that I watch, anything that I see happen in real life. It's like everything is extra sweet and sentimental right now. And even listening to this playing in the background makes me want to cry because it's the part of Toy Story 3 where you think they're all going to get incinerated. Bottoms up. Here. We only played for a little bit inside this morning. It's so dark in here. Even though it's sunny outside, like the way that our house sits, all of our windows are on the wrong side for the sun to come in, which is a little bit of a bummer. Yeah. My brain just went completely dumb. Some miracle. Austin got home early today and he brought flowers and an Olipop. He's been outside doing yard work so I took a shower and now I'm on baby duty and dinner duty while Belle goes on a bike ride with Dada. Uh, uh, day. He is almost never home, bef almost never home before dinner time so it's like so exciting that he got home early today and it was hair washing day anyway so I was like I'll go ahead and get that done and then start dinner I feel so much better after that shower I was feeling just down I think I said that several times in this vlog and I don't know how you guys are but I feel like my go-to's for like when I'm just feeling eh or even when we like get in an argument or anything shower get outside or go on a drive. Those are like my three things. I feel like I just need to like cleanse and pray. <laughs> trick but I'm gonna repeat it um a bag on your counter this is just from the zucchini that I was using when you're chopping veggies clean up as you're prepping so like now the only trash I have is this and my counter is practically clean and I'm making pasta so it's like a one pot mess For a totally last minute dinner, this is going to be delicious. It's just heavy cream. Every vegetable I had in my fridge with Italian sausage and a little bit of cheese and tomato paste, garlic, lots of seasoning. It's gonna be so good. So I've been in here cleaning up for dinner. Austin's been with the boys. I'm gonna show you what they've been doing. front yard. Mind you, bedtime is in like 20 minutes. This is dad energy. Dads will put any any amount of effort into something for their kids. Welcome to my noisy, scary dungeon basement. Honestly, please tell me everybody else has basements that look like this because I feel like nowadays all I see is like finished 
organize clean basements, but don't we still have unfinished basements? Anyways, I'm doing laundry. Um, that is one thing I have always kept up with, like, um, without a cleaning schedule was the one load of laundry a day. I will say it is so much harder having our laundry be on the bottom floor of the house, like in the basement when all of our bedrooms are two stories up, that's where all the clothes are. It's definitely a hassle, like doing it down here, bringing it upstairs, bringing the laundry back down. But we've stayed up to date to where, or I've stayed up with it enough to where I only really ever have one hamper full of laundry at a time. And I feel like that's a game changer. Um, I'm actually about to wash his sleep sack because it was getting a little bit dirty. And maybe it's from my self tan, like when I rock him or something. But I'm about to throw it in the wash. And just like I'm wrapping up my cleaning for the week to where hopefully we won't have too much cleaning to do this weekend. And I can just be present with the boys. But it has been like such a game changer trying to use my cleaning as an opportunity to like be present. I don't remember where I heard this, but I was listening to a podcast and he was talking about, I want to say it was Tony Robbins. He was talking about how not everything has to be an emotional experience for you and not everything has to be something that takes emotion out of you. And he was saying that like, Basically, when you're tired after a long day and the last thing you want to do is clean the kitchen, you go down and the whole time you're thinking in your head like how frustrated you are that you have dishes to clean and all this stuff and how all you want to do is be resting. And he was saying that you can kind of like rewire your brain to where when you're doing those things instead of like having it be an emotional experience, it's just autopilot. And I genuinely feel like the last couple of months I've reached, oh my gosh, it is so loud down here reached the point where at least for this season where I can kind of turn my brain on and my hands on autopilot and it's just part of my day and I can think about whatever I want while I do it but it's not generally like a sense of dread or complaining I just know this is part of what I do this is part of my job this is part of living and like it's never gonna go away and it also is a blessing to have a mess to clean up it's so loud down here. You need to do this later. Let's do some laundry and we can talk about this later. Are you really a wife if you don't find a few of these every time you do the laundry? What I think I was saying in the basement was how that simple like mindset shift of not, you know, spending the whole time that I'm doing a household chore, like in my head, just complaining about it and t thinking how annoyed I am that I'm the only one who does it and that I just have to do it again tomorrow and the same thing the next day and the same thing the next day. Because all over the Bible, it constantly talks about a grateful heart and you know, just like setting your mind on things above and also directly says do all things without grumbling or complaining. And I just think about the power that is in that and especially like the example that I'm leading for my kids um, by doing things with a grateful heart instead of constantly complaining because we've all heard it, but we're all going to miss it. And the things that you complain about, someone else might be praying for like I could be complaining that I have such a large house to clean and so much space to clean while someone's literally praying to have a house. And same thing about dishes. I could be complaining about dishes. When I have a sink and a dishwasher and clean water to wash my dishes with, other people might be praying for literally food for their bellies. So it's just like a nice perspective shift and I think it's really important as stay-at-home moms because we do the same thing over and over and over and over again to like try to take captive every thought and make it obedient to Christ and also just to have like a good attitude about the things that we're doing. But I thrifted this laundry hamper for five bucks the other day and it's like my favorite thrift find because Let's be honest, if we're looking at these two baskets, which one makes you want to do laundry more? 
this one. $5. I have no idea. I've had this probably since I got married. But I obviously have some work, some laundry to put away. I'm actually about to go sit and drink a coffee and edit a video. So I might wrap up the vlog here or maybe I'll carry the vlog into the evening. Austin had today off, which is like a surprise. He's never had like a random day off of work, at least not in the last like six months. So I'm gonna go edit and if I do end the video here, I wanted to say thank you for watching and thank you to Dreamland Baby for sponsoring today's video. Make sure you go out of your way today to love on someone and make them feel extra special because they are. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next